Good afternoon. I hope you're doing good. It is 12 o'clock. <laughs> I'm way late getting our video done today, but we're still going to do it and, um, and get done. So I think we're going to be great. We're still talking about fearless. La -da -da. It is probably one of my most favorite little books because it is so simple and it takes all the scary out of oiling and even if you bought your kit months and months ago or even a year ago i mean like i have seen people go on, go like several years and it's just like collecting dust and just sitting there because they're too afraid to use things and we kind of sometimes get in the paralysis by analysis and we kind of think okay well when i learn all the things then i will do this particular item or or we'll say um you know, I need to read the entire pocket reference before I really dive deep into it. Or, you know, I don't want to, um, it's just scary. I don't know how to use it. And so I don't want to just waste it. And we get stuck in that place. And that makes it really hard for us to move forward. So we just kind of stop. And I've seen so many times, so many times. So I want to take especially now with uh, coronavirus and we can't really get together and I've done tons and tons of classes of let's just open our box like you know you get your kit now what do we do with it we just open it up and we start playing with it and so everybody brings their kit and we just start opening bottles and we start smelling them and we start putting them on and we start playing with them and take that scary out of it but with corona it's kind of been hard to do that particular thing so this is the next best thing so we're going to learn to be fearless and have confidence in our oiling. So just like I said, there's five things that make people a little more leery of using their oils. Sometimes it's because they don't know how to use it into their daily routine. They don't want to, um, they're not really ready to just make a, a swap of getting rid of some of their other toxic chemicals. They're afraid that it might not work like something they've been using. So they're just kind of, eh, I'm not just going to swap stuff out yet. Or um, they thought that it was going to do something different than what it ended up doing. Or it's just collecting dust because they're just overwhelmed and they think there's just too much stuff out there. So we're going to take all of that scary away through this week and get rid of all the the don't knows. So we're going to make it easy for you to use your oil and to be more confident and while at the same time figuring out how to read labels and learn how to do little simple swaps very quickly and easily. There's a huge chasm between um, all of our little mysterious bottles and a life filled with um, from sun up to sundown with oiling. You know like there, there are some people who just dive into it and they don't really care. Like it didn't bother me to like start slathering myself and the kids. And, and I kind of learned trial and error as I went because I was like, hmm, they say it don't hurt anything. Let's just try it. <laughs> you know, it's like I would just use it and I'd be like, hmm, okay, well that didn't work like I thought it would. Or, or, oh, we won't do that again <laughs> because I didn't use a carrier or something with it, you know, with something a little more spicy like thieves, which I've done, or cinnamon, which feels really amazing on the skin without a, um, if you're not ready for it and you're not used to it, it's really great, especially on your three-year-old. <laughs> but one good thing, if you're using Young Living, it is not scary. It is not bad. You do not have to worry about it. Even, I mean, I've had to call the, um, the what do you call it people you know that over the um like when you drink something that you're not supposed to drink you know one of them drank pan away and so like i called the whoever those people are whoever they're called and they're like oh it's young living you're okay it's no big deal and i was like oh well okay then so i was quite happy to know that and I, after that moment, I just haven't worried about it anymore. And you hear of all of these crazy things people talk about um, with having issues with peppermint in their animals, uh, lavender with their 
um, with boys that that's not good for boys to use lavender. So we're going to talk about that first. And let's, let's kind of get some of these myths out of the way and some of these things. Now, I cannot, we'll go ahead and say this first, I cannot vouch for any other oil company. You will have to go to some other oil company, figure it out from somewhere else. If you're buying oil off a shelf from Walmart, it's you're going to have to be careful. Like where they talk about do not use peppermint on the animals. Okay, well then do not use peppermint from the store on your animals. I can only talk about Young Living because I know we got about Young Living. So that's where we're talking about. So when I'm saying that these things, the things I'm talking about, this only applies to Young Living. Do not use anything else in in the way I'm talking about it, okay? Because this is only Young Living. If you go to Walmart, you're going to have to do research on whatever Walmart uses or whatever kind of oil they have and all of the stuff that they use. I mean, like, it's got synthetic stuff added to it. It is um, has solvents added to it. They're distilled differently. It's a total different atmosphere. What you buy off the shelf at Walmart is different. So what I'm saying on the Young Living, okay? So when you're using Young Living, because of the purity, because of how they distill the plants, how they put the seeds in the ground and then they cultivate it and they harvest it and then they put it into the bottle, how they go through their process, their seed to seal process is completely pure. There are no solvents. There's no additives of any kind to it. It's only the pure oil. So when you are using pure oil, it's not going to have the same effects like on your animals or on your children that these other oils will do with these other companies. Now, like for example, when you are using any Young Living product and you put it in your diffuser, it's good for any of your animals. Like, they will they will know whether they want to be around it or not. Now, like I rub stuff on my animals all the time. We put peace and calming on them at night. We uh, put lavender on them at night. If they have a scratch, we use animal scents, lotion, uh, like a cream. It's like really thick. But that stuff is the most amazing stuff ever and absolutely love it. Like within a couple of days, scratches and like huge, huge scratches are gone. Amazing. Like the best stuff ever. They make things specifically for animals, but you can use anything. Distill what you want to. I distill peppermint all the time. I've never had any problems with my animals, and I've never heard of anybody with Young Living having any problems with their animals because of the purity that it has. Now, you do want to think about, as you're putting oil onto your cats or dogs or whatever animal you're using, their metabolism is a lot higher than ours is. So everything you use on them, you want to dilute a little bit and make sure that you're not putting too much. It'd be like uh, putting oil on a baby because you want to make sure that you are diluting some so it doesn't go through their bloodstream really, really fast. You want it to go in easily and because their, their body's going to ramp it up and get it in there really, really fast. So you want to tame it down a little bit. So that way it goes in a little bit slower because the the carrier actually helps. It's a thicker, it's a larger molecule. So it goes in a little slower. It helps to slow down that process of metabolism. So when you are putting oils on your children, do the same thing. Dilute a little bit and then rub it on. I've used everything on my kids. Now, they do say to be more thoughtful, like of peppermint or eucalyptus or something with your kids, not putting it real close up to their chest because of the fumes, you know, like you can smell it and it like makes your eyes like want to squint, you know, like us as adults, we feel that. So that would do that to them too. And so you don't want to overpower their little nose because they're so little. Put it on the bottom of their feet and it will have the same effect. It's going to go to every cell of their body in just a few minutes. So put it on the bottom of their little feet. Put little socks on them so they're not touching it. Because then if they touch it, then they're going to get that in their mouth. And it's going to be hot because, you know, peppermint's spicy. Um, do the same thing with thieves or cinnamon. 
just put it on the feet because it's actually going to be benefit the feet more because every nerve ending is in your foot, in your feet. So you're, it's going to seep to every cell faster by doing it that way. And their little feet are so sensitive, they can soak up really quick. So dilute it a little bit, put it on their feet, and then put socks on. I did, I did that on my little people for a really long time. Um, now, everybody pretty much, like everybody knows now, like peppermint's going to be kind of spicy, so they prepare themselves for it. Like most of them are putting it on themselves all the time. Now, Skyly and Josh still, um, I help them, but the bigger kids do it on their own. But Skyly, I mean, even coming home as a baby, I put everything on her and did everything, and it, it was fine. It was no big deal. Um, you do want to make sure that when you are using things like lavender, this is another, this has been one of those other things that you hear on the news, do not use lavender on your boys. That is one of those things as well that with Young Living, you do not have that same effect because it's actual lavender. This was something I did not ever realize until I started using Young Living. I didn't know there was a difference. You know, like all the bottles, like lotions and stuff, they'll have lavender, sleep like a baby, lavender, lavender's great. You know, like they have all these things. There are different families of lavender. There's lavender and there's lavender. And if you will look at your bottles, most of the time they put the cheap version into these bottles called lavender. It does not have the same effect as lavender. Lavender in its purest form is like a Swiss army knife. Like it can do so much. Great for scratches, burns, um, if you need to go to bed. I mean, if you need, if you are chafed, if, especially men, like working outside in the heat and it's just, I mean, like right now, you come home chafed, put some lavender with a little bit of grapeseed oil and rub down, it will be gone by morning. You will be happy as a lark all over again. It is amazing. Any kind of um, rawish type skin like that, if you have eczema, great for your skin. I mean, beautiful for your skin so lavender in its pure form as a young living purest form you can find it is great now there was a man when studies were being done on lavender they were like one man did this study and he said lavender is great for burns so this man like he burnt himself to see what the lavender would do he used lavender, not the purest form, to try to see what it would do and see if it would help it to feel better. It did not. It burned him worse because of the fact that it was the lavender, which is more of a camphor type effect, not the calming, soothing effect. So that was not a good test for him to do. So do not always make sure that what you're using is the purest form of what you're trying to do because it's not going to have the same effect. You are going to have to be extremely careful of what you're using every time you put oil on your family. If you're using Young Living, I promise you, if I could have, if it could have been screwed up, I would have been doing it already. Like. I make sure that I do everything as best as I can, but if it could be screwed up, it would be me because <laughs> I have used so much of it. It is like absolutely insane. Like I have rubbed my kids with some crazy stuff. I have rubbed my husband with some crazy stuff. I've given them so many weird concoctions. It's not even funny and they have always been fine and they're beautiful and they're awesome. <laughs> they are perfectly good. So just be aware of that. When they're talking about these effects that they're having on boys with lavender, it is that cheap form of lavender. It is not the pure lavender. I've got six kids, two boys. One is 16. He has used lavender constantly. He loves it. 
and never had any problems, not the things that they're talking about having those problems of within the boys. So, so just be aware of that. Be aware of everything that you're using. There again, when you're reading labels, as we're talking more about that, tomorrow we're going to really get into the re label reading and how to do that and what that really means. But today I wanted to make sure that you understand the difference between what we're using and what that looks like, especially when you're looking at all of these different effects that you hear all of these people talking about all the time. You don't want to just use just random stuff. I mean, just like we're talking about shampoos and conditioners and all the different products that we use in our home, we don't want to just use random anything because those are harmful to our families. And we want to use the purest form that we can possibly find in everything that we use. So tomorrow we're going to talk more about actual label reading in our shampoos and conditioners and cleaners and all of those kind of things as we're going through our our day the other day we talked about how many deaths there are from cancer and different cases like one in five uh, men and one in five women will have cancer by the time they're in their 60s that's a scary amount of people having cancer and dealing with that we're also dealing now with corona we have there's just there's so many things out there and, you know, like we say, I mean, you're always going to die of something. You know, you can't prevent every single thing. But God also gives us the mind to think about what it is that we're doing every single day. We can, yes, we can, we're going to, I don't mean to sound mean when I say this. Yes, we're going to die of something eventually. But at the moment, we can do whatever is best for our bodies to help it live and us to live the best possible life we can while we're here living it. I don't want to be here only living in this half good body. You know, like I don't want to be in pain the entire time I'm living on this earth. Yes, I'm going to die of something at some point. But... I assume that's going to be far down the road, <laughs> not planning on it right now, but no matter what happens, God is always in control. God is in control of everything, but that doesn't mean he said, go do, treat your body. However, you're going to die sometime. No, he said, your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. We are to take care of our bodies. He gave us this body. He lives in this body and we want to take the best possible care of it that we can so we are responsible for what we put in it all the time and what we use on it all the time so we have to think and be aware of all the things that we do just because yes eventually you will die does not mean you don't want to live in the best possible quality of life that you've got here on earth I expect my goal is to live to be 125 like I've just already decided that <laughs> God may have other plans I don't know but there again, I'm not God. I don't know everything. So while I'm here, I want to feel as good as I can. I have got six kids to take care of and get them grown. I want to see all of my grandkids. I would love to see most of my great grandkids. I don't expect to just kick the bucket just because I had control over what I did in my body. I don't want to just, you know, I don't want God to be like, well, you know, I could have given you some more life, but you chose to do the nasty you know you chose the not so great life and throwing stuff into it that was not good for you you made that choice we make the choice every day god gave us a free will to make a choice every day about what we do every decision we make so like my goal like my tina has um tina cecil is our um one of our leaders within young living she's your leader she has her group called um, the Co-op Community of Oily People. I have to think of the what it stands for. And so that's like everybody within, within her group is in that page. So there's lots and lots of people in there. She loves, like absolutely loves, like gut health 
food, like how to eat healthy, all of those things. Like she's all about that. Like that is where her jam is. And that's like what she teaches on all the time. So if you really need some gut health and you really know that you're not eating as healthy as you need to, go look at um, that page. If you're not on that page, let me know and I'll add you to it because she's got tons of information like that all the time. Like she's all the time putting stuff. She's going to school to be a naturopathic doctor, I believe. Um, and so it's like she, she's got tons and tons of knowledge, like gobs. Like she could tell you all kinds of stuff. I'm not as knowledgeable on the gut health. Like I know gut health simply because I've had to deal with it. But I'm not as knowledgeable as she is on that. So if you want that kind of, like you need a little bit more in depth, then go look at that page because she's got tons there. My passion is more like I want balance. We cannot be extreme all the time, like in every single area. Like it's really hard to constantly eat right every single day, all day long. It's hard to have balance in your time. It's you know, like you're balancing kids and life and all the things. My passion is helping people to find balance in all the areas, especially if we can find balance within our emotions and our our mental health, then it really balances out lots of other areas. Then we become more aware of what we're eating. We become more aware of our environment around us and the the money matters and the time management and how to take care of our kids. What we really, what do we really want out of life? Like what is your sole purpose of being here? Finding your purpose, living out that purpose. That is where my passion lies. And that's what I want so much for this group is to be able to find balance. And so like, if you feel like you're so out of balance and you're just not really sure where to go from here, please message me and let me know that you need some help because that is what I like thrive on. Like I love to help anybody find that balance and where, where to, if we're not mentally where we need to be, it makes life really hard. Like when I get in those moments where I feel just completely crazy, um, women, you know, like, especially that time of the month, like you feel like you're going to fall off the edge and go nuts. I mean, like Danny can say one word, like one day I was in one of those moments and he said something about me being warm. Like I leaned over on him and was like, oh, you're so warm. Like it just like threw me for a loop. Why would you ever say that? Like warm, really? I'm warm. <laughs> I mean, it was like so stupid. <laughs> and, but that's where your mental capacity goes when you're you're out of balance. Like if when the emotions are out of balance, your hormones are out of balance, like everything has to fall within that point of balance. So ever since then, that's like a many months ago. It's like ever since then, he's like tried to redeem himself of calling me different things to get away from the warmth. <laughs> like, um, like I have even been a warm linen closet. I mean, like really, that's better. <laughs> oh, my word. It is so funny. But when our emotions, if hormones are out of whack, if we're not living in that place where we need to live emotionally, everything else is out of whack. So that's where I really have put a lot of my focus and a lot of my um, studying is what does that have, what kind of effect does that have on our entire life? And it's amazing what kind of effects that has. So if you're looking in those, those places, if you're trying to figure out where do you need to start in all of this journey and in everything that you're doing, start there and let's talk and let's get you kind of moving in the right direction mentally and we can start working on some of these other areas and begin to really throw ourselves into some growth all the way across the board because that's going to make a big, huge difference, I promise you, because that's where I had to start. I had some major things going on within myself and I had to be able 
to find somewhere to start. And sometimes it can't always be on the food. It can't always be on some of these other things. But if we can pinpoint and focus on one area, I had to start on my hormones and then I worked from there and I worked backward, really working into some other places. And so now I can see this balance changing and how things have come about. So let me help you with that because I promise you it will make you feel better and you will be like a different person. So tomorrow we're going to talk more about reading labels and moving forward into making simple swaps within our home and what we can do to help each other as we're moving forward. So I hope you'll have a great afternoon and I will talk to you tomorrow.